first and foremost, if nobody told you as of yet today, I love you. If nobody told you as of yet today, I am proud of you. You're going to continue to achieve anything you set out to do. You understand me? Also, you already know, I do have to give you that brief disclaimer, all right? I only want you to take what resonates, and I want you to leave the rest behind. I don't want you trying to force certain scenarios for you. If you don't get your confirmation through me, I guarantee you're going to get it through somebody else, so be patient with your process. Also, you already know, my voice too raspy to be whispering. So this about the time that you probably want to hit that volume, all right? So before we get started, chosen ones, I want to thank you so much for all y'all's love, your likes, your shares, subscribes, your kind words, not only to myself, but each other too. I appreciate you. You understand? Now let's get started. Chosen ones, I want you to be very aware of your feelings right now. And what do I mean? Because there's certain energies that are trying to play in your energy. Now, what do I mean by that? See, you know when you first started on your healing journey, when you started finding yourself, when you started to align with God and allowed everything else to play out. See, when you first started this spiritual journey, there were certain individuals that was attacking you. Whether or not they was paying certain practitioners to put black magic on you, send certain chaos spells towards you, have you feeling less about you, having you feel like you needed to do something to yourself. See, there are certain individuals that were used by the devil to try to set you up. See, what do I mean? See, when you first started, the devil seen certain things that you were doing. See, when you started to talk to God more and the devil tried to listen, see, sometimes you spoke vocally, loudly, whether or not you were speaking to other individuals. See, if you ain't speaking intuitively, the devil can try to listen out. See, what happened was you was focused on what God was telling you to do. God, you sat there and said, okay, God, this is my purpose as it got presented to you. Okay, God, what do I do? God sat there and ordered those steps for you. He told you certain things that you needed to do, but he also gave you a quick glimpse of certain locations that you was going to reach it to, right? So God told you in the end, you're going to have love, light, abundance, prosperity, all of these things. See, when the devil heard that, the devil got hyped. So what did he do? He started to send certain people towards you that wasn't right. See, chosen ones. The devil sat there and tried to sabotage you initially. That's when, again, you was going through all of these things mentally. See, that's where he tried to hit you. He tried to send, again, people sending illusions towards you. Had you getting in disagreements with certain people around you. Had your children acting up in the household. Had your partner doing this. Had your friends doing that. You understand me? Whoever had a low frequency, that's who was getting used by them. So what did you do? You sat there and listened to what God told you to do. Now, stay with me, chosen ones. Now, you started to, again, certain things started happening. And you thought it was falling through for you. You thought it was falling apart for you. You thought, again, say this was a career that you wanted to do. As soon as you try to do that career, certain things may start to get disheveled for you. Say you said, okay, well, this is the business that I want to start. Something else popped up where you couldn't spend that money to start that business. You had to pay for other stuff. Whether or not you was finally ready for love and then you ran into somebody else who wasn't willing to play that position. See, again, the devil was trying to use other individuals around you to switch up your direction. See, chosen ones. At that time, you thought things was going bad. See, you initially had a plan, but you ain't get an opportunity in a sense to stick to that. See, you originally had a plan that God had orchestrated for you, but certain things started to change. Say again, you had initially planned to make that move, then you couldn't. Okay. You initially planned to start that business, but you couldn't. Okay. See, at that time, you thought the things was going away. You thought things was falling apart for you. Whole time, it was God. Why? Because he knew that those individuals was on to you. See, they knew the direction that you was headed in. They also knew that the ending result. So they started throwing things in your direction, trying to get you off your path, try to have you lose your spark. See, chosen ones. Whole time you ain't realized that was divinely orchestrated. Because the devil seen you give up on that direction that you was doing. So again, you could have initially said you wanted to start this type of business, but 
you planted seeds somewhere else. You may have initially said that you wanted to move to this state or city. It didn't work out. You initially said, okay, this is the person that I want to speak to or go with, and it may not have happened. See, in that time, the devil started getting gassed up. He thought that he had successfully distracted you. See, whole time he didn't even realize that God had you building that fence. See, he had you building in various areas. So I want you to think of a fence post in a sense. You know how if you build in the fence, you got to build it post by post. You got to have a structure to it. See, when the devil seeing you no longer focusing on fully the one thing that you said that you was going to do, he ain't realized that although you didn't give all your attention to that, God had you building and other things that was going to work on behalf of you. See, as you start to build post by post, so again, you started to heal you. You started to get certain things revealed to you. You started to see that that place that you initially wanted to move to wouldn't have been beneficial for you. You started to see that person that you truly was trying to pursue didn't have love for you. That friendship that you was trying to come through for them and you wasn't able to, then they showed their true colors about you and started to act the ass which you see whole time that was divinely orchestrated. The devil thought that he successfully sabotaged you. The devil thought he had successfully got you off your post. Whole time he didn't even realize that when he was trying to keep you having less that God was up there doing the most he chose the ones. I'm speaking about this right now because when they thought that you had given up on certain things that you was trying to pursue, whether or not that was a specific person, a specific position, a certain abundance, a way of thinking. When they thought that they had successfully sabotaged it, they stopped sending certain shit then. They like, oh, shorty ain't even worried about him or he ain't even worried about her no more. So I don't got to do black magic to keep them separated. I don't got to cast certain illusions that had them in confusion feeling whether or not they should make that move. Oh, shorty ain't even post no pictures about her position, so therefore they assumed that that position had fell through. See, when you were silent, because you was focused. When God told you to stop speaking loud about certain things that you trying to do, because the devil and certain people that was plotting on you was listening towards you too. See, chosen ones, that was divinely orchestrated. See, now they starting to realize when they eased up that you were still going. See, when they first started, they thought that they distracted you. God was like, nah, I'm going to have to talk to you personally. you like, all right. God's like, nah, certain things can't be said out loud. So you waiting on God's go ahead for certain things that these individuals was trying to knock down. So you was unsure exactly what you were supposed to do, but you kept it inside of you. You went to the divine to lead you. You allowed God to guide you. See, chosen ones. Now these same individuals who thought that they were successful at sabotaging you, oh, they returning. They returning. They sending certain black magic back to you again. Now they start to see that you have a clarity about the person that you truly supposed to be with. Now they see that you starting to build your confidence that other people starting to see that too. See, they originally had certain chaos spells surrounding you so people would view you differently. See, they initially cast certain illusions to have you in confusion but your ass is seeing things differently see chosen ones i want you to realize right now what they trying to do is mentally sabotage you again see that's why right now you may be feeling a sense of stagnancy you may feel irritated you may feel mad but that's not you that's they ass they upset because the things that they thought was going to sabotage you didn't work they mad because they thought when they did that first time, that first thing, they thought that you was ended. But they ain't realized behind closed doors you were still going, so therefore you were still winning, see, chosen ones. They fucked up. I'm telling you that now. See, you know how you know individuals who ain't right? You know individuals that lack certain light? Because right now what they trying to do is they going to use God's word. To try to protect them from certain things that they were sending to you. See, these individuals that was playing in that black magic. See, lies is a form of black magic too. Because what is magic? What's that hocus pocus shit? Words with intentions behind them. So those lies they intended to finish you. Those lies that they told they intended to have people viewing you differently. So that's a form of black magic. See, there's certain people that really was paying certain practitioners off. 
so that you wouldn't have shit. See, there's certain individuals that was casting certain illusion on your children too. So when you ask them what's wrong and they have an answer for you, that was true. They know why they was feeling what they was feeling. That was those people projecting that shit. So make sure that you're not just thinking about, oh, yourself. Anybody connected to you, they gonna send that shit too. So you gotta make sure that they elevated as well. See, you gonna have to pray for your children. They don't know why they feeling those things. See, whole time is somebody else mad based upon your life. There's other people trying to cause chaos and disruption in your life. So chosen ones, you gonna have to make sure that you praying not only for you, but you protecting your children, anybody that you love too. See, even your divine feminine and masculine, even if you ain't in contact with them, spoke with them, or even know who they are. You need to pray for them right now. Cause they currently going through certain wars. See, they gotta go through what you went through too in order to get to you. So you make sure that they have a safe journey as well as that they got clarity on certain individuals and what they doing see chosen ones they so stuck on you there's individuals that lost already because in order to end you they was to have to end you before you became you see they would have had to stop you from even being brought into this 3d world they was unsuccessful so therefore they already know what it is see chosen ones there's certain people that'll watch you like a hook they know everything that you're doing and you ain't even talk to them there's certain people talking about you dating this person now. They trying to figure you out. See, let them spread their lies. Let them have their assumptions. God said be silent about your place. Don't tell these dark-ass individuals nothing. You understand me? Because there's certain people that you used to be connected to. They partners that they used to be connected to are still talking about you. Your name's still in rooms that you ain't into them. Your name's still getting mentioned and you still ruffling feathers even when you're not even spreading your wings in a sense. See, chosen ones, they mad. They mad because they thought that they successfully sabotaged you. But you having your comeback. See, they not realizing that God set you out. God sat there and told you to chill out. Why? Because they sat there and did the most. And they going to do the... Man, listen. I'm telling you right now, there's certain individuals that did the most to get attention. These lies that they said, these personas that they put on to get these followers, these likes, get people, again, thinking that they was right. Certain people that you know was telling other people about you or told somebody else to change and trade you. Man, listen, do they not know what was happening? God allowed them to get that attention because he knew that the same people that they did the most for was going to be able to see their truth. See, now certain things are starting to play out. Now, let me give you an example, right? See, we're going to talk about something that everybody knows about, most likely. Let's talk about Blueface and Krishan. That's a good example to tell you what type of time guys on, right? See, both of them was toxic. They had toxic ways. They did shit that wasn't right, right? See, I want you to realize that some of them did the most. They was talking behind the scene or when they was mad at this person, they went publicly. See, they try to make each other look bad, but the whole time that karma's coming back on they ass. See, you got to realize everything that they did in the dark is now getting presented to the light. Every lie that they told, now they're going to be held accountable for them. I want you to realize, chosen ones, again, meet, make sure that you're in control of your mind, your feelings. Make sure that you realize that that's not you who's feeling that. You ain't did nothing to feel the way that you're feeling. So if you're feeling like you did something bad, and you know damn well you ain't even living like that. If you feeling bad like, eh, you did something wrong, that's those individuals talking about the things that they did to you that's now coming back to them. See, they never should have spoke that shit out into existence. See, there's certain individuals that, and again, we're going to compare this to the Krishan situation because we done talked about this back in the day before these things got presented. See, I done told y'all, right, chosen ones, that that whole playing the victim, now you only want to talk about God when they starting to see through the shit that you do to see Krishan, Krishan, Krishan. No disrespect to her because she got certain things that she needed to heal from, but shorty. She'll never talk about God unless people starting to see the truth about her. See, she talking about Blue was the devil, but she got satanic ways too. See, if she talking about the devil, then why the f was she dancing or entertaining that individual? See, I want you to realize all of a sudden when things don't go right, she, she didn't did the most, now she gets the less. That same 
finger that she was pointing laughing about his previous child's mother is the same position that she's currently in, then again, she don't never want to talk about God unless people are calling her out for some shit. Are you catching on? See, that shit makes me mad because I'm a talk good about God regardless of the circumstances that I'm in. See, if I got to stop talking about God when I'm around you, then that means that you got devils around you too. See, you know that interview that Diddy had when he told, said that he told Tyrese that when Tyrese said he got to go to church on Sunday, he said, don't bring God into this conversation. If you telling me I can't bring God, then that means that you're, you know that God's op is around. See, that's something like somebody telling you, nah, you can't go to this party because so-and-so's coming too. See, if you telling me I can't come because the opposition is around, so if you telling me I can't talk about God when other people's around, then who's around you? They some satanic individuals, see, chosen ones. We ain't for it. So you got to see through that shit. You understand me? Y'all out here boosting certain people up again. They ain't talked about God when they was sending certain See, man, we going to talk about his chosen ones. There's certain individuals right now that's reciting certain scriptures. They try to act like they so holy. Whole time, they try to use the word of God to protect them from what they sending out. See, shorty always, and it's just not shorty because there's plenty of shorties out there that do the same shit. Talking about, oh, God's going to protect me. Anybody that goes against me is about to get it. Shorty, I don't know what type of story that you tune into, but none of this karma and consequences wouldn't have came out had you not made the moves that you was moving. Had you not did the things that you was doing. So now that God, you starting to feel that wrath. Now you think that God's, the word, you saying God's name is going to protect you from that shit. See, God's like, hey, yo, how you, how you think you're going to get the divine God that's above? How you think you're going to get assistance from him when you, that's not the God that you pray to. If you out here doing satanic shit, that's not the God that you abide to. If you out here doing love spells, money magic, chaos spells, illusions, confusions, if you out here lying, manipulating, deceiving, that's not the God that you praying to. But you think that God is going to protect you from the ill shit that you do against his true divine crew, see chosen ones, they must not know. And you got to let them know, you must not know about me. Because anything that you try to send out is coming back to you. You understand me? That's why it's very important that you don't match the energy of these individuals. See, you know how people say, oh, they go low and they go lower. That's why you're going through what you're going through. Why? Because you match your energies with these dark ass, dingy ass, dirt, dirt individuals. So therefore, what's going to happen? You're going to match that karma and consequences to you chosen ones. See, God told you to be patient. Stay out of it. See, when you was out there responding to them, when you still was being loud about certain things that you was doing, they tried to orchestrate and turn that around to make it seem like you was bad. See, you told them what you had. You told them what hand, what you had in your hand in a sense. They wanted to see what you had to go against them, what information you would be able to provide in a sense. So therefore, they wanted you to say what you had so that they know what type of card that they can play. Oh, now, when you were silent, see, chosen ones, they thought that you were stopping. Now, those same energies are over there currently wilding. See, there's certain people that thought that they successfully did black magic on you to disconnect you from your divine partner. Whole time, they ain't even realized. God was like, hey, yo, let them have that for that moment. You focused on you. See, whole time, they ain't even realized that they didn't break up nothing between you two. God had you fully focused on you building that foundation up. God knew that again, that that other person was going in that and he was going to, or she was going to return back to love. See, now those same people that try to throw that shit in your face, talking about they got so-and-so, they try to lie, they try to do the most. Now God's like, oh nah, now it's your time. Now all eyes on you. Now they gonna be feeling the blues cause they mad cause that individual end up ending it with them and it return right back to you see chosen ones. I'm not talking about those people that was out there karmic. I ain't talking about those past partners that was putting their hands on you, disrespecting you, cheating on you, abusing you. I'm talking about those individuals that thought that they successfully sabotaged you and your boo. Had them fearful of 
walking away from them based upon what they said that they was going to do. Those people who every time they partner try to walk away, they did something to try to keep them in stay, try to make it seem like they couldn't move on, try to make it seem like they couldn't do certain things. See, whole time they thought that they was holding you back, chosen ones. They didn't. So now they going to be hurt. Those same pictures that they was posting, now it's your turn. Now, those same locations that they was going to, see the difference between you and them is longevity comes with you. See, they try to skip the line. They try to be quick to get some shit. God was like, nah, I'm going to give them a quick glimpse of what it would have been like had they did the right thing. See, they thought that they had money, but they sabotaged to do it. See, they did PPP loans through the government, but your PPP was different. See, your PPPs was prayer, your purpose. You understand me? And patience. See, they was on some other shit. Now that money done came and gone. Now they owing it back. Now they in lack, can't even pay those practitioners that they were sending certain shit to Cassie. It's an O. That death spells that they try to send to you and your kids, now them and their children could currently be going through it. See, chosen ones, the difference is you ain't cast no shit to them. This is the repercussions for them messing with a chosen one. See, God said they can try that shit on their own. They can try those things with karmics. They can try those things with people that are matching that energy, but they ain't going to have it mess with you. Everything that they try to do to you is getting returned back to those individuals. See, that's why you got to be cautious of who you connected to. See, if you dating somebody who did death magic to somebody else, then you going to get hit as well. If you had children with somebody who's out there deceiving, trying to end other people's life or keep them from conceiving, you going to get hit with that too. Y'all going to share that consequence because you still connected to them. See, chosen ones, that's why you got to pay attention you heard me because again if you're not protecting the people around you and if they vibrations ain't high like you then they gonna get hit from certain shit because they on the same level as those dark entities is see chosen ones now those same people that when you was in a relationship with them they was balling in a sense, money, but they couldn't come up with money or they just came up with certain toxic shit. Individuals who, again, try to use certain money over your head, try to flex certain power over you. Now, their power is currently limited. Now, you're going to feel bad because as you disconnect from them, they going through some shit. See, when you met them, you could have been the person that was in a so-so type of position. You could have been in a struggle in a sense. You may have felt like you was dependent on them. You may have needed them to make certain moves. Now God had them do what they did. Now they energetically had to report. See, when you was at home and they was paying everything, or when you thought that again they was holding certain things over your head, whole time you ain't realized why they was paying certain bills. That was their payoff on that last lifetime that they did. So you out here feeling bad like so-and-so has to pay all your bills. They getting paid. You talking about, oh, well, I don't know. God had you be able to sit down based upon what they did in their past lifetime. So once they pay off for you, pay their dues, and God tells you now it's time to move. Now your abundance is coming through. Now he's allowing you to provide for you. Now these individuals, mm -mm. now these individuals is hurting. Now they money. See, half of these karmics ain't even going to be working. Half of them shit ain't going to be working out for them. And if they got a job, they're going to have to show up on time every time. They ain't going to have no leeway, no break. Certain bills are going to come back to back. Certain things that they going to be in lack all because they try to sabotage you. Whole time they sabotage, they ask the chosen ones. Don't you feel bad because they currently in lack. You ain't wish that for them. You just said anybody with ill intentions towards you, I call judgment on them. Anybody sending black magic to me or my soul tribe, I call judgment on them. See, you ain't sit there and again ask God to have that situation happen. Oh, no. Nah. No. You ain't wish that. You may have said that you wish that they get the karma that they deserve. There's a difference. You ain't pull this shit out of thin air that all of a sudden you ain't care, you hate them and all this. No, nah, they did some shit. But still in those circumstances, you ain't go above and beyond to make sure that they got that karma and consequences. You just acknowledging them that they getting it. You understand me? 
So chosen ones, I want you to realize that right now certain things are starting to play out. Those same people that play themselves. You understand me? Certain things ain't going to work out. They barely working out. See, it's all playing out right in front of you. See, people are starting to see those people that was acting so holy. There was some holes in it. Not just holes, but holes too. Starting to get presented. They starting to see the truth about it. See, you be cautious. There's some of these dark ass individuals that out here again, they reciting certain scriptures just to try to cast to you or make you feel like what they doing isn't true. Now, God told you, watch this. You know that mad TV when it used to say, look what I can do. Huh? You know that, right? That's what God's telling you right now. Like, hey, yo, watch this. See how I handle this. It's all going to work itself out. See, God sat there and had a time period before they got that karma and consequences because he wanted to get them comfortable. He wanted to see if they was complacent. He wanted to see if they was going to change their ways or if they was on the same shit. See, God sat there and told you to chill out because he was watching. See, I want you to think, right? You know how when you was a child, you could have been at granny's house and your cousin or your siblings messing with you. All your granny in the other room hears you yelling. So they like, they yell at you. And you tell them like, nah, so-and-so hit me. They deny it. So-and-so kicked me. They deny it. They sat there and stole this from me. They deny it. See, the grandma, excuse me, the grandmother may have corrected you or yelled at you at that moment. But best believe they started to pay attention. Their ears started tuning in in a sense. And they was going to catch them in that moment. See, I want you to realize, chosen ones, when you sat there and told God what these people was doing to you, when you brought it to other individuals as well, or you presented it to that individual that you knew what they was doing and they denied it. See, God was like, okay, cool. See, this is what I'm going to let you know. See, when you said somebody sending black magic to you, people didn't believe that. They ain't had a proof. See, some people, again, they have to go based upon what's physically shown. So God was like, cool, I got you. See, those individuals, God said anybody sending black magic to anybody is going to have death surrounding. What did you start to see? Everybody around them started to get hit. And that shit wasn't coincidentally. God said anybody who's trying to sabotage your success, their finances is going to be stunned. What did you start to see? So-and-so struggling a little bit. So-and-so's using their last little bread to try to still act like they got that shit. So-and-so got full credit cards in their name, owe money for every one of them, still owe God said, man, listen. God said, you know what they doing to you, but other individuals don't believe that you, they doing what they doing. See, I seen somebody say, beautiful, you so correct. Talking about, you don't have enemies. They just an enemy to your ass. See, there's certain people that don't like you based upon the fact that how people look at you. There's certain people that's connected to a person that's interested in you, whether or not that's an ex-girlfriend, an ex-boyfriend, a baby mother, a baby father. They mad because they know that with that, when they was with that person, that person was constantly in lag. But they also start to see that this person's starting to feel themselves innocent, and now they're starting to pick up on that energy. They're starting to realize that that person wasn't as innocent. Now everything's going to play out. See, everybody who had those bells. That shit's getting lifted. God sent some wind in. So now people are starting to see the truth about them as well as their intentions. See, chosen ones, all you had to do was stand in your truth. See, even those people that was impersonating you. God said, listen, are you going to stay in your truth longer than they going to live in that lie? Because no matter what they try to do, they can't be you. They can't duplicate you. They going to mess around and blow a few trying to be you because they not equipped to carry the same energy as you chosen ones. There's certain people that they would be more successful than they was themselves. See, they try to be you. They try to beat you. They try to defeat you. Try to get other people to join their group too. The gang stalk you. Had certain people watching you. Certain people trying to finesse you. Even had certain people trying to pursue you too. Why? Because they ain't want you focus on a certain specific individual. Oh, nah. They must not know about God. God don't play with that. So I'm telling you right now, everything that they sent, that shit is coming back. Those people that try to act like, now you praying to God, 
when it's so time you were sending black magic out and you was lying, now all of a sudden you so holy. See, the devil knows certain scriptures too. See, the devil can recite certain shit, but he can't comprehend what that message is saying to him. So, chosen ones, there's certain people that they going to try to act like they so godly, but they not. You got to be able to see through that. How you feel intuitively when they speak it? Do you feel like they telling the truth or can you see through what they showing you and realize that they deceit and see chosen ones? I'm trying to tell you certain things ain't adding up so therefore it's going to have to get learned. Listen, everything's playing out so it's up for you to pay attention. You understand me? Everything that was done to you chosen ones is returned back to those individuals. There, now again, the devil thought that he had successfully sabotaged you and had you focused on other things, didn't even realize that God was telling you to make those moves because in due time, everybody that was going to be surrounded by the truth, you understand me? That, man, I'm trying to tell you. So you better be doing you. You better be proud of you. You better be speaking life into you. Every day that you wake up, you better say affirmations to you because right now there's people that you never met that's out here praying for your failure. There's certain people that they was in the same position as you and because they wasn't able, they told themselves that they wouldn't be able to do it. There's certain people that said, oh, you, they got children, they can't get ahead, but you got a whole squad and you still did that shit. There's certain people that said, oh, nah, they couldn't get to work because they didn't have a car, but you sat there and put your legs in motion and God took you that far, see? Chosen ones. There's certain people that said that you would never get in that place, that place that you wanted to live. Old time, God came through. He told you all you had to do was apply for it. He was going to speak to those people that was going to approve or deny. He was going to have them consciously think about having you align and you was going to get approved. See, you don't sit there and try to for certain things. God works on behalf of you. All he says is you make that move. See, you talking about, I don't know how I can get approved, apply. And God's going to talk to those individuals intuitively inside. God's going to have that thing come through for you like you didn't even know that he was going to do. See, had he told you how he was going to do it, at times your ass talked too much too. You was telling everybody around you what God told you that you was going to do, the moves that you was going to make certain things that she was going to obtain what time you had to go so they could try to stop those things see nah god kept certain things from you just to see if you was going to keep going because he knew that you would have sat there and felt the need to tell other individuals try to look out for them to tell them that they could do it too whole time you ain't realized that they was going to sabotage you see it's playing out though you seeing things clearly you hear me so chosen ones protect your energy right now you understand me? I remove any negative energy from my energy. I remove all ill intentions from my frequency. I am divinely aligned. I am love. I am happy. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am so thankful that everything always works out for me. That's the main one right there. Because you got to believe, even when your plan A doesn't fall through, your B doesn't fall through, your C doesn't fall through, but your D does. Your D was always God's plan A in the first place. You hear me? So no matter what, everything always works out for you. It does. There's certain circumstances that you was previously in and you ain't think that you was going to get a way out. Now look at you. Out here, out of it. Separated from certain. Everything always works out on behalf of you, chosen ones. You see that? That mother didn't accept you. That father neglected you. Had they been around you, you would have been just like those individuals. It played out. Oh, you not having certain wealth. You looking like you didn't have money. Why? Because those people would have manipulated you in order to get something from you. So now God was like, nah, let me see who's going to love you based upon what you have inside. Because those people that accept you, they get to accept and receive those blessings too. Just because they liked you for who you truly was and not what you could provide those individuals. See, it played out. See, you know when you was trying to conceive with that person and you kept miscarrying or you couldn't get pregnant. God didn't want you to conceive with them because you was going to conceive with a demon in a sense. You was going to bless their lineage when their lineage didn't deserve that shit. So God didn't have you bring that child in. Now you doubted that you could even conceive. Now all of a sudden you align with somebody else and them babies start booming. See? 
You starting to see. See that job that didn't call you back? You would have been working there. They would have used you. They would have had you choosing between people that you loved and that profit that they provided for you just to discard you. They didn't acknowledge you, promised you certain promotions, and they wouldn't have came through. See, you was going to accept that temporary assignment. See, I want you to think about a temporary job in a sense, chosen ones. You know how when you first get on board, they tell you this is a temporary position. But there's an option for you to come on permanently. You like, cool. So therefore, you show up every day doing the work that they told you to do. You moving quick, thinking that your quickness is going to have them select you. Just for all of a sudden, you get a call talking about, okay, well, we no longer need you because that assignment didn't end it. So you had all these other jobs that you could have been applying to, but you settled and was complacent with that settled, that so-so ass position. You sat there and said, okay, just because at that time money was coming in, you still wasn't applying with something that had permanent solution to it. That was that it could. That was you dating those people or entertaining those people who had no intentions of truly selecting you. Talking about we'll see where it goes, but they know damn well they ain't see no future with you. That, oh, well, I don't like a title. We'll just, huh? You was going to accept that temporary-ass job. Came with no benefits. And one day when you went go to go show up, they told you not to come see chosen ones. You would have settled. And you realizing why you didn't get accepted. You wasn't neglecting. They didn't look over you. That was God looking out for you. You understand me? So stop accepting these temporary-ass positions. It has something that has and comes with longevity with it. Okay, that person got money right now, so you dating them. If that money was to go away, would you actually like them? If that money was to go away, would you actually want to be with them? If that money wasn't there, would that change your perception of them? That ain't your person then. Oh, okay, 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 cool. If you staying with that person because you had children with that individual, so you telling me if your children wasn't here that you would no longer be there you better watch that shit because sometimes you speaking certain endings into existence and not even realizing it. see if you tell if god's telling you to walk away from that person and you talking about you only present because you have a child with them you better watch it because some of y'all have destined positions that you're supposed to be playing so if you talking about the shoe not gonna play them and you staying with that player because of that child that you have with them god will remove that child then so that you are be forced out of that position see you better watch that shit you understand me you talking about no i can't leave for my children okay well then god will have your children leave you because you got a position to play and he'll have that child be born again through another individual that you were supposed to be connected to had your ass waited you hear me so you better watch what you be saying you talking about you want to walk more but every time it comes to walk you talking about you got an excuse on why you can't do it okay well why your car stop starting then now you got nothing but time to move them damn legs. See, you better be cautious of what you ask for, and you better be properly prepared for the things that you're praying for. You understand me? Let me do a time check. We got a little bit of time before my next coaching session. And I appreciate y'all so much for the coaching sessions. I love you. Because y'all out here, when, you, when we speak on the phone, y'all speaking freely. I tell you to relax and just speak to me. What areas of interest you want to focus on? And as I provide you insight just to hear y'all break down in real time where you start to realize or certain things that you used to tell yourself that people said was lies, now you getting your confirmation. Man, I love that. I love you. I'm proud of you. You understand me? There's certain risks that you took, but you took a risk to find your truth. And I appreciate you for trusting me to relay that. And every even through your cries that I hear you crying, and the fact that you like, man, ain't nobody spoke to this. Certain things that I'm telling you that you ain't even spoke to somebody else. I'm, I, pre, I love my position. I love my purpose. I love the fact that, again, God has me provide certain confirmations that you've been holding within. Certain things that you knew but other individuals around you told you wasn't true. I appreciate you. I love you, and when I say you part of the soul tribe, you part of the soul tribe. And when I told y'all I'm going to have an event just for y'all to show up and be inattentive. Why? Because you need to see certain people. When you was going through certain struggles, you thought that you was by yourself. Now you look through the comments, and what do they say? 
they say, man, this is my story. I was going through the same thing. So those seasons that you thought it was just you and you was talking bad about you and thinking less of you, other people was going through that too. The chosen individuals. Why? Because we got a purpose and a position to play. So while the devil is out there recruiting they little minions, chosen ones, you got to step up and play your position too. Why the devil got certain demonic individuals out here creating chaos or had people reciting certain sayings, having them doing certain shit that's delaying them. Chosen ones, you a musician, you need to get out there and speak some real stuff. Not no auto-tune. They need to hear the real you because that auto-tune, they cannot feel you. So just like these demons, see, these devils, they be using these beats. Because what do you think? The beat is what you stick with. You don't really pay attention to the words. The beat is what gets you first. And it's these demonic ass individuals that got such good beats that they got from good individuals, but they using it for the devil's work. So now's your time for chosen ones, almost like Power Rangers in a sense. It's time for us all to unite. You heard me. So get your music out. Start aligning with people like you. Start aligning with your, tro your soul tribe. Defend not only yourself, your morals. Don't let nothing slide when it comes to God. Don't sit there and speak bad about each other. Boost each other up. Yo, beautiful, you so, I call, beautiful, listen, love and beautiful, they my names for you. Hey, beautiful, hey, love. I don't try to say handsome, cause that steps over the boundaries a little bit. You know what I'm saying, you in a situation, but come on now. And I say beautiful to masculines and feminists, cause you got a beautiful energy to you. I love you. So. Fuck what they saying. Them demons didn't accept you. You better be celebrating. You heard me. You out here not being social because of what those other individuals that truly wasn't for you did around you. They didn't accept you or you had to deal with certain things that you ain't like, but you starting to realize you more social around the people that's actually right, right? So get out there, chosen ones. Let's, we gonna be social, I told you. See, I'm somebody who stayed to myself. I don't like to be front and center of attention. I never did a live until God told me to come on here in order to present what he told me to present for him. So, chosen ones, it's the time to be social. It's the time to rejoice. It's the time to celebrate. It's the time to smile at every location, at every spot that you at because you know that it's necessary for you to go there in order to take that next step. This is your season, I promise you. You hear me? But I love you so much because I do got a coaching session to get ready for. I love you. I'm going to upload this live later on my YouTube as I always do. You hear me? Somebody said they a hood chick, but you want to go to the opera? Uh, then go to take your ass to the opera. You hear me? What you mean? No. It don't matter what you stop talking about you like that. It don't matter where you came from. You, you, you not no hood chick. You, you, say your name. Who are you? I am. You may have a little bit of hood in you, but you not no hood ass individual. Take your ass to the opera. Ooh, you better do it. You understand me? I'm trying to tell you. Cause I've been, lately all I keep hearing is bitty bitty bum bum. And I think that's Selena, right? I keep hearing that. Bitty bitty bum bum. I'm trying to tell you, I do a little salsa. You know what I'm saying? But I might, like, yeah. But chosen ones, I love you. I got to get up off here. I'm going to be up here. Listen, I told y'all too. If you have a podcast, it doesn't, God is everywhere I go. So no matter what, God is everywhere I go. But if your podcast is something where you like, okay, you like to laugh, you want to talk about circumstances, situations, I got you. But you can't be no demonic individual in order for me to work with you. I'm going to pick up on your energy. And I don't play like that. You heard me. So, again, it's all about aligning. I've got some events that's coming up. Virtual courses, too. As soon as they're available, you click the link in my bio. You'll see them automatically, all right? I promise you. But please don't let people play in your energy. Don't be mad. You got everything to be excited about. That's they ass. I promise you. I love you, all right? Y'all continue to be great. If you need me, baby, you know how to reach me, all right? Y'all be great.